all right. If I got anything else to say, I'll see you later. I'm going down to get it for food, so I, you know, I'm on time, so I got to get ready for my games at 1 o'clock. So by the time I get my chicken right, it'll be about that time. You know, I can't be late. Yeah, you, you better get on schedule. You already overslept. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, Dad. you tell me something? Okay, I will. Well, yes, yesterday after she had um, you know, all that dancing, we had to walk down some stairs. She talking about my knees, my knees. <laughs> Shit, okay. <laughs> all right, holler. holler. Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Sunday. It is 11.49 on the last day of 2023, okay? So I figured for this vlog, I will just kind of vibe out with you. You know, I'm not doing anything today <laughs> at all. I'm getting ready to um, put my black eyed peas in the crock pot they've been soaking um since yesterday but my cousin turned 50 um so we've been celebrating her for two days i'm tired i'm gonna stay home uh and make myself a nice little dinner i kind of messed up i really wanted a steak went to the grocery store bought everything but steak <sighs> but i have salmon so i'm thinking about making that but that was supposed to be my meal prep for next week and i don't want to drive anywhere but I also think it's kind of silly to get just a steak delivered to the house. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. And there's another part of me. It's like, oh, I could order like something to be delivered to the house. That way I don't cook anything at all. So I'm still thinking about that. But I figured for today's vlog, we can just vibe out, talk a little bit. And um, spend New Year's Eve together. If you're home like me or you're going out, you know, whatever you choose to do. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So one of the things that I don't think a lot of people realize is where I came up with the name Genuine Life. So one of the things that I, just scooch this over right here, um, don't think a lot of people know, is I was married. And it didn't last that long, it was like less than two years. It wasn't until my divorce that I did not realize uh, how much of myself I didn't know. I had spent my entire marriage trying to figure out what was wrong. And in that period, I was doing a lot of conforming and, uh, you know, just trying to understand what was wrong. He wasn't attracted to me. He didn't like me at the time. And, you know, I just didn't know what was wrong. So when the divorce was over, you know, we could talk about that another day. But um, once I was alone and in my own thoughts, I realized I really had no clue who I was and I had not been living a genuine life. And so I came up with this name to kind of hold myself accountable to never do that again. So to make sure that anything that I do is genuine, it's pure, and that is the purpose of my account, to make sure that you are encouraged to do things that you want to do and things that align with your heart and your values and not necessarily looking for or seeking validation from others. Uh, but, you know, if you like to do crossword puzzles in the park, that's your business, okay? Or, you know, I like long nails. I know a lot of people don't like them. They think you're dirty, whatever. Have your own thoughts. These are my nails, my fingers, okay? <laughs> Some people don't like locks. Some people don't like weave. And we spend all this time trying to, like, you know? I'm not doing it. I'm living genuine over here. So I hope you are, too. Okay, so let's get these. Um, hold on, let me throw this out. Get these beans cleaned up. Well, they're already clean, but, like, um, like getting all these little pieces out. You know, like when the skin falls off, we're gonna get that out of there. Uh, and cut up some peppers, get our uh, 
chicken broth and everything in the crock pot and we can get this party started. So <laughs> I was talking to my dad, that's who I was talking to. And he cooks really well. I do not cook at all, which y'all saw in my Mexico um, vlog. And so he's like, who's making these black eyed peas? Me? Cause who can really mess up peas, right? Get strainer. So anyway, I uh, am really, really excited about this meal. I went out, as I mentioned earlier, celebrating my cousin. And y'all, I just had a really good time. I don't go out like that. I know it may not seem that way, <laughs> but I really don't go anywhere. I prefer to remain in my dwelling. It's just a preference of mine. I do get a surge of energy when like people come to visit or if there's like a special occasion or something, I'll go out and I always have a good time and I'm like, well, I'm gonna do that again. And they'll be like, maybe not. Okay, so I'm just checking for some loose pieces here. It's all good. And let me know in the comments, do y'all normally go out for New Year's Eve? Like, what do you do? Because I found that as I've gotten older, my home just seems like a better idea. But it's hard because I'm single and I know my man ain't gonna find me in the house. But I'm like, can't he just like deliver a package and I open the door and we lock eyes and then I can prove that theory wrong right <laughs> this is the stuff i really be thinking about so i got my crock pot and just need to give her a good cleaning out it's funny i used to let me tell y'all so i'm not making like resolutions i haven't done that in a long time but i am setting some goals for myself for the year very intentional goals and my weight has always been an issue for me like i like to eat okay i really do and I don't move enough for the amount of food I like to eat. I'm just trying to take y'all with me here. Uh, and so, and I know that, right? I've been on Weight Watchers a few times and have always found success with them. So I signed back up with Weight Watchers. And I like them a lot because it's simple for me. I don't like counting calories. And... Sorry, y'all. Let me move back over here. Um, my place is a mess, so just deal with it. <laughs> I'm in the middle of bringing in the new year. Um, but I, I don't know. Like, I just found a lot of great success with them. But unfortunately, it's like this toxic relationship where I always come back around this time of year. And then I dip off when I lose the weight. So I'm committed to staying on with them for the entire year. And I am gonna be tracking my food because that's probably the biggest thing I don't track because they changed their program. So a lot of the foods that I can eat are zero points, which is fine, but I wanna get in the habit of seeing what I eat because my issue is, and you'd be surprised if you hung out with me, you'd be like, girl, you really don't eat. I really don't eat that much. It's what I eat. That's horrible. <laughs> um, I am a huge, snacker i will snack i will eat a whole bag of pretzels for breakfast lunch and dinner and two cokes you know what i mean um it's horrible so i'm like trying like um personal charcuterie boards so i bought like all this stuff yesterday maybe i'll do a haul but i bought like all this stuff like you know turkey and cheese and this a uh, beautiful goat cheese um some veggies and fruit to put on a little plate and that is what i'm going to choose to snack on mind you most of those things on that charcuterie board that i'll be making for myself are all zero points and no this is not sponsored i'm just trying to tell you like it works for me uh so that'll be that and then uh i'm just trying to walk more i'm a member of planet fitness but i don't know and I know people think this is like a thing. I believe it's a thing. So if you don't, whatever. <laughs> but gym intimidation is a real thing. And I just, I enjoy Planet Fitness because I feel like they've eliminated that whole like gym phobia. 
but I also just really enjoy walking outside. Like it just brings me, brings me peace, but I don't do it enough. And so um, that's the commitment as far as exercise. And maybe we'll do a whole video on like our goals and intentions for 2024. That would be cute. Yeah. And speaking of 2024, actually, let me get my peppers. Y'all stay right there. Don't you move. Oh, I'm keeping my black eyed peas really simple because I don't like onions, um, which I probably could have put in there, but I just don't want them in peas. So I have my smoked turkey wings. I'm putting a red pepper and a green pepper in there. What do you think I should do? You think I should get a steak? I don't know what to do. I'm like, oh, can you have black eyed peas and salmon? Yeah, you can. And honestly, I could just eat the black eyed peas. Like, because of the smoked turkey that I put in there. It's just so good. Uh, but anyway, I, um, oh Lord, I forgot what I was talking about. Mm, goals and intentions. It's that 40 year old brain. Um, but yeah, I don't know this. I just don't, I'll tell you this that much. I don't want to be the same person I was this year. And not that anything was wrong with me this year. But I do find that after like two or three months in, I just get complacent. And I have seen this kind of drive and consistency in me these last few months since my layoff that I have not seen in me before. And so I think this is what I like. I need to step it up. And you know, I keep finding these accounts of people who are content creators that are just killing it right now and i can't lie y'all every time i apply to a job i'm just like i don't want to do this like i don't want to do this anymore how can i take my talents and education up a notch and you know i just saw this post today on linkedin this young man um had received a verbal offer from a company which you know i will tell you if i'm ever your recruiter there's no offer that's solid until you start even after you sign a company can rescind unfortunately uh and so he was saying he received a verbal offer they rescinded the offer when they found out he did not have a, a college degree and it's just so disheartening i don't have a degree either and it has not stopped me from doing anything As a matter of fact and this is a humble brag i have made more than some people that i know who have degrees as someone that's only has a high school diploma I mean yeah so it, my point is there's no there's no bearing on someone with a degree versus someone with experience there's no proof that they're going to do a better job at doing some of the work so anyway it just further tells me that I need to bet on myself because these companies are playing in our face and I don't like that for me or my homegirls and homeboys. <laughs> um, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I wanna I wanna be in control of my own destiny, you know. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna pop these uh smoked turkey legs into the crock pot, uh cover it with some chicken broth, and then like I'm gonna let this kind of cook down as I'm cutting down the peppers. Put this bouillon in there and the garlic and just kind of let everything kind of get going and then i'll cut the peppers i'll come back Y'all, I cannot cook. When I tell you the mind be all over the place, I can't cook. Okay? I will admit that. So I'm praying these peas come out. In my mind, you can't mess up black-eyed peas. But I might be able to. 
Um, so I'm just grabbing some seasoning here. And <laughs> we're just going to go off vibes, okay? Uh, but anyway, we were talking about goals. And another one of mine is to date. And I know it's kind of like a weird goal to say out loud. <laughs> I don't mean it in a sense like I'm going to be out searching for a man because that ain't it. I just mean that I'm going to be more open. I am the girl that goes out and is in her phone, avoiding all eye contact, <laughs> um, not really engaging. And this weekend with my cousin just really helped me realize how important it is to go to places that I don't want to say you're comfortable with. I do want to say you're comfortable, but I want you, I don't want you to like think I'm saying only do what you're comfortable. Like you have to go to places where you know you're going to vibe out. Like for me, I'm not a club girl. So every time if I were to go to a club, I would not have a good time. Period. Uh, I don't like them. They're not for me. I need a different kind of scene. And I found I'm finding that the more I do that, the more fun I have when I go out. You know what I mean? So like when I go to like I like museums, I love live music, I love festivals, I love those kinds of things. And so it's going to be so important for me to position myself in places where I thrive and where I feel confident and where I'm open to meeting somebody, you know? So but don't don't get me wrong y'all your girl is scared okay i have been single for so long i don't even know if i know how to be in a relationship because this idea of me telling you where i'm at and where i'm going and you want to see me all the time you want to talk on the phone i'm just like <laughs> i know it sounds crazy but you know, it's hard, you know? I've been single for almost 12 years. Um, you know, there's been a few friends here and there, but no relationship. So it's really intimidating for me to think that I would be opening up my life to someone to get hurt. Um, yeah. So I think I'm kind of working on that mentality of like, no, you know, may not get hurt what if this is like a beautiful thing that's another goal of mine i'll keep it posted <laughs> all right so just like to cut these damn peppers let's cut them uh but the peas are covered we're seasoned hopefully it's not too seasoned because i love some i'm sure you're gonna see my boobs again this vlog feels chaotic but it's fun so we're gonna roll with it um yeah i don't i'm telling y'all i will <laughs> A little nervous. Okay, we still need to talk because I don't know if I should be getting the uh, steak. You think I should get a steak? Y'all, that's what I really wanted. But when I tell you, you're, I am not trying to get in nobody's car and drive to the store. It just doesn't seem appealing to me right now. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and order it online. Because I can also get, or I just need a meat. Like, what if it's a pork chop, you know, on the bone or something? Okay, this is getting random. I'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm cutting these peppers. And then we're going to have to start on that room of mine. Because I refuse to bring in the new year on the couch again. Unless I'm drunk, which I won't be. Uh, but I need to be in my bed. So, I will come back once... I finish my room and then we'll kind of canoodle some more okay so go do whatever you need to do I hope you're doing something to get yourself prepared for the new year and you know what how about this when we come back let's talk a little bit about like writing our goals down maybe I'll start to write some goals and intentions down for myself and we can do it together as like a, a group project <laughs> I think that'll work really well okay so I'll come back when I somewhat have myself together and then we'll canoodle and bring in the new year together. Okay, bye. 
Okay, so everything is done. Well, not everything, but the peas are in the crock pot. And I was just talking to my sister and I'm just like, I think I'm just order wings. So we've been, <laughs> we went to WNB Factory. They're here in Atlanta. I had never eaten there before. I'm usually a Wingstop girl. And uh, she was like, let's just go there. I'm like, fine. So I ordered wings, y'all. I want to tell you these wings are so freaking good. They do, they use like the real chicken wings, you know, the Springer Farms, I think it's called. So they just taste so good. They never give away. have not gotten my order wrong once. They understand when I say I want them crispy or like fried hard. They get it. They have like a ton of flavors. I'm just, I'm hooked in a bad way. So I'm about to order them on DoorDash have it delivered here and then i'll have wings with my black wrap black eyed peas and rice yeah because i just can't see myself eating salmon black eyed peas and rice it just don't work and it's also my meal prep for next week so i don't want to dip into that you know um yeah so that's what i decided to do so i'm gonna order this food <laughs> and i have got to tackle my room y'all it's a mess and then i really it's funny because i need to create content i have all these ideas in my head but i cannot do anything until my room is clean at least clean in a way where i don't feel like i'm searching for stuff and so like i just got a new suitcase i want to do an unboxing for i have some ideas for like youtube content and some more get ready with me and outfit of the days and i need to plan all that stuff out for next week but i'm just like I can't do shit until my room is clean. So I'm going to order these wings and then get to moving so I can get to moving on my future self. I'm already tired though. <laughs> okay, I'll come back. All right, so I just got back from walking the dog. Y'all, it is so gorgeous today. It's like not a cloud in the sky. And me being the super deep thinker that I am, I'm like, oh, that means... No cloudy days in 2024. Uh, but anyway, the bag has been secured. We got the wings. I decided to go with honey garlic, ranch, and garlic parm. Oh no, I wanted lemon pepper. I could have sworn I clicked that, but I guess not. It's fine. I got honey garlic, ranch, and garlic parm. Yeah. Um, so anyway, got that. The dog has been walked. Mama got some fresh air. But let me tell y'all why I call myself a fake vlogger. Because I'm like, damn, I should have brought my tripod down. I should have showed like going down to get the food, walking the dogs. But I feel like life just starts happening real fast and I forget to grab the equipment. I'm getting better though. I'm gonna get better. <laughs> um, so now, oh my God, I get all, I always get nervous with my packages getting delivered because I've lived in my complex for three years and each year I've moved into a different building. The building that I'm in now is secured with a gate code. And so like, whereas my other, the other apartments, they weren't, you could just walk up and deliver right to the door. So the challenge with this building, for some strange reason, the gate code that I have been given does not work. And I'm just tired of asking about it. And so um, I gave them like the generic gate code to use. I also have instructed them to come through. We have a coffee shop here. So I told them to come through the coffee shop. That'll give you access to the elevator. So right now my day is going perfectly. And if this Amazon package gets delivered to my front door and I don't have to get on the phone and like direct them, my day will end wonderfully. <laughs> But anyway, in this package, I have some like um, jewelry that I purchased. I don't know if y'all know this lady. Her name is Caroline. Her Instagram name is Shop with Caroline. And she's an older woman. But when I tell you that that's her whole like, I didn't mean to call that out. I'm saying like that's her whole brand. Like there's life after 50. I think she's like yeah, 50. But she looks so good. And one of her signatures is just she wears a ton of jewelry. Like, but not like um mr t <laughs> they're layered like that but she has like a lot of like dainty necklaces and rings and bracelets and trinkets and it's just it just speaks to my soul so she, on her amazon storefront she has like all her jewelry most of her jewelry linked 
so i obviously do not want to spend eight thousand dollars on 1500 pieces of jewelry so i'm starting to build my collection so i bought like a tennis necklace uh a, a fly ring um like a ring that looks like a david yearman ring uh and all of these items were less than twenty dollars so i'll show you hope i'm not gonna say hopefully they will get here today so i'll show you i'll do like an amazon haul so you can see what i got i also got the mattress protector since i'm a kid and i spill juice so i have a mattress protector but i also went out and bought a mattress topper so you know like a little cloud vibe so i want to tell you i cannot wait to get in my bed tonight it's about to be on and popping okay anyway hold on all right so now i am gonna go back start cleaning my room i feel like we're getting closer where i can show you but i also feel like y'all don't y'all ain't got no business seeing this messy room i'm gonna give you a glimpse <laughs> it's bad um and let me tell you how it happened i completely cleaned my bathroom i forgot what day it was and then I was supposed oh i cleaned my bathroom on thursday because i knew i was going to be going out friday for my sister my cousin's um party the plan was to have everything done by thursday so that i can chill friday saturday sunday but th sorry wednesday the bathroom was clean thursday was supposed to be my bedroom and thursday's when i woke up and spilled the juice on my mattress and so <laughs> i cleaned it and was literally waiting for it to dry it took a hell of long uh, and so I didn't put any sheets on the bed and ended up sleeping on the couch until everything was like dry. Because as strange as this sounds, I have a king size bed, but I sleep only on one side of it. And the day that I slept on the opposite side, it just feels weird. Like, I don't know, just it's not my side. So uh, I've been sleeping on the couch. So I've been waiting for the stuff to come. In the midst of that, I've been going out Friday and Saturday. And if you're anything like me. You'll have an outfit idea in your mind. You kind of wait until, it takes me about an hour and a half to get ready if I'm going out. And so it's like I wait until, if I'm supposed to go out at eight, I'll start getting dressed at 6.30, knowing good and well I should start moving around six. And so anyway, long story short, the outfits weren't working and you know, you start rushing, you start tossing clothes everywhere. And now I got clothes on my bed. I got clothes I need to wash on the floor. I got, blankets on the floor i mean it's just it looks like a disaster but it it looks like a model was back there getting ready for a shoot i don't know so i'm getting ready to tackle that room i'm praying that amazon gets here once they get here i'll do the haul and then i'll come back and show you a clean bedroom and um we'll keep this party going hmm. slides that's when it hit me
so quick update it is about 6 30 quarter to seven this is all that i have left these are clothes that are washed so i have to fold them that's puffy sleep bathroom is completely clean everything is off the floor um uh, black eyed peas are tasting delicioso so as soon as i finish these clothes i'm going to hop in the shower so that i can eat because honey i'm starving okay so yeah i just want to come back and give you a quick update and i will get moving So I finished. That's not good. Okay. So we're done. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better than where I was earlier. This is not gonna work. Oh no, momento. Okay. So I am super proud of what I did today. Cause y'all, I am such a procrastinator. Um, I'm such a procrastinator and I always tell myself, especially since I stopped working, oh, I could do it tomorrow, I could do it tomorrow, I could do it tomorrow. And I'm really determined to stop saying, wait until tomorrow. Like if I commit to, the same way I commit to others, I wanna start committing to myself. And so if I say I wanna clean my room or if I say I wanna go create content that day or whatever it is, um, I want to stick to it and so i'm just really proud of myself my black eyed peas i keep talking about but y'all i cannot wait okay so i'm getting ready to hop in the shower i had given myself a goal to stop cleaning at eight o'clock no matter what i still have some clothes um that i need to put away but i'm gonna do those tomorrow and then my comforter is in the dryer so right now it's just my weighted blanket heated blanket sheets uh, on the bed plus the mattress protector and the cushy thing. When I say I cannot wait to get in this bed. Um, and then Puff Daddy is sleep back there, nice and peaceful. And these are the um, sweats and sweatshirt that I'm getting ready to put on. So nothing matchy matchy. I figured I'm going out doing all my favorite things. So eating black eyed peas, I'm having an ice cold Coke. I'm having an adult gummy. Um, I got a cake from Piece of Cake. I mean, um, oops, excuse me, nothing but cakes. Uh, and wings from WNB. So, uh, this is gonna be a great night going into 2024. So, I'm getting ready to hop in the shower and then, um, it's time to eat. Okay. So, we're gonna keep this train moving. All right. So, I am. Oh, yes, I know. I'm sorry. I'll be a Look at the extra. Watch this. <laughs> Mama. Just go right here. So I'm all done. I am. So I'm. I don't know. So I'm all finished. Um, well, kind of. I'm waiting. I forgot to make the rice, y'all. So I have a rice cooker, so that should be done in like five minutes or so. And then I already popped the bubbly, so I have a little bit of Corbel. Let me get my glass. All right, y'all, so I have a little bit of champagne here. It's a rosé. Uh, but anyway, I am going to wind down and relax. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I feel like this vlog was a little chaotic, but it was still fun to me. It was fun to me. Hold on, let me turn my TV down. Because I want you to hear what I'm about to say. Okay? Excuse me. Okay. Sorry for the lighting. Would you believe I literally just broke my ring light? Like two minutes ago. So anyway. 
if you have your glass i want you to grab it let's toast to an amazing 2024 thank you for your support of this growing channel my instagram my tiktoks just whatever i do there are people who are just always supportive so i just want to say thank you and here's cheers to you walking into an amazing new year leaving the old behind embracing adventure and change like a champ and you know being open to new experiences and i pray nothing but favor and enormous blessings on each and every one of you that watch this video thank you again for your support let's leave 2023 behind and let's welcome 2024 in because i feel like she's that girl okay I really do. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you have an amazing new year and I will see you next week for another vlog. Cheers.